Well, well, well. Would you look and see what we've got our hands on already? The Openda objective card. Of course, you need to win 13 games with a full league earned side to get this Openda. It's a very minimal upgrade as well from his player of the month, which is quite interesting. But if you can get this, I do think it's really worth getting because I feel like he's going to be one of the most rare cards on the game. Now, his upgrade's poor. You know, we've already said that. And it definitely is a poor upgrade, you know. I think his player of the month had a four-star week, but we are going to check. And three-star skill ones, but it could be free, free. I could be wrong there. It is a big shame he hasn't got a four-star, four-star. I'll say that straight off the bat. That is a bit of a shame. He is 5'9", high-low, right-footed, four-star. Three-star, he's got 99 pace. He's got 90 for dribbling, 91 shooting, 86 passing, and 93 physical. He is 5'9", with 93 physical. That is brazy. He's got the finesse shot trait. He's got the outside foot shot trait, which is really, really nice to see. And solid player means he's actually not going to get injured, which is nice. Not that it really has an impact on anything, unless you do believe in the injury glitch, which nerves your players, which is absolute bogus, by the way. And yeah, so a Penda, 13 wins in champs. You also get an Mbemba, is it, for this as well? That card looks quite cool, but we don't really care about that. We care about a Penda, and that is what we're going to be doing today, reviewing this man. My God, does he have a good card. He's got 99 for acceleration and sprint speed, so it's not a fake 99 pace. 95 attack positioning with 96 finishing. He's then got 91 shot power and 82 long shots, 80 volleys and 92 penalties. It's a shame about his shot power. If that was 89, it would be absolutely stupendous. He's got 90 for vision and crossing, which is brilliant. He's got 94 short pass and 75 long pass. Curve is poor, but he does have the finesse shot trait. So the curve is extremely or utterly irrelevant there. So... Don't worry about that. You can only play centre forward other than a striker as well. And of course, comes out as a striker. Then we move on to the dribbling stats. And they're good. Specifically, his agility and balance is brilliant at 96 on both. He's then got 90 for reactions, 88 for ball control, 89 for dribbling, and then 86 for composure. So that ball control, dribbling, and composure is a little bit low. But I do think we'll rectify that with the right chem style to fix this card. He's then got 99 head and accuracy. And also 99 jumping. We have 94 stamina. I don't think it really matters on strikers how much stamina you've got. 93 strength and then 89 aggression. Wow. What a card. Now, as I said, the dribbling is a bit of an issue. But let's quickly go and compare that Openda to the player of the month. So, as you can see here, he's got the same pace. He's got two more dribbling on the team of the season. He's got two more shooting on the team of the season. He's got three more defending. Fair play, yeah. That's a great upgrade. He's got three more passing. And then also three more physical. And if we look at this appender here, this one has three star, three star. And also has all of the same traits. So, with the player of the month, I believe he went for a marksman. Now, there was a big reason for that. It was to get his strength all the way up. It was to boost the ball control and dribbling. And I think we're going to do the same again here. So, as we do apply the marksman, guys, let's take a look and see what that does for him. So he goes up to 99 for finishing, 95 for shot power, with also 90 long shots, goes up to 96 for penalties. But most importantly, the dribbling in the right areas gets a big boost. First of all, to reactions up to 94. That's brilliant. 96 for ball control and then 97 for dribbling. What an upgrade that is. And he goes up to 99 strength as well, guys. We're going to be playing him in the 4 one 2 2 narrow up front alongside Salah and Diaby. He's not too hard to link, especially with the other Lons team in the seasons we've got now, Fofana and this Medina, by the way, who I'm not going to do a review on him, but I promise you this card is the best centre-back on the game. He is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, 4 one 2 narrow, him as the right striker. Let's get into a few games and see how this appender does play. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. All right, then, guys, the first game with a Pendo. We're playing against a rank one player here, so we've got to be on our toes. We are currently 13 and 0, so got to be very, very careful. And it's going to be a good test for a Pendo here, the best test you can really have for him. Ooh, oh, I tried to get away with that sprint boost. I thought I was gone there. I really, really thought I was gone with the strength of him as well. I really did think I was gone. This guy's a very, very decent player, though. Bit defending there. Okay. Got to be on our toes big time here, guys. Because uh, if we're not, we're going to get beaten quite comfortably here, I feel like. Oh, Appenda's had a bad start here. Really, really poor start. It's good from Ruben Diaz. Back into Appenda straight away. 
dabbling into him again. But it's that three star week for a DRB cost to me there. I've got three star week foot all across the front line. I've just clocked, which is a little bit tough. Uh, but these are sweaty games, guys. I want to show you them. And yeah, what a pender does in this kind of game is important. It's hard to live com this because um, I should be focusing a bit more. But we're doing it for the culture, aren't we? So here goes M Medina. Come on. Oh, no. Good save, Samba. Oh, my God. This guy's very, very sweaty. Very sweaty indeed. Medina, nice. Let's pour header out, though. Diaby's got to really latch on to that. Who on earth is that? Oh, Musiala, man. Doing crazy stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. This is very, very sweaty, guys. There's Diaby. I look into a pender there. A pender's beat him. A pender. Cross in. Salah! Oh, he's got a score. He's got to score that. That has to go in. That absolutely has to go there, doesn't it? Go on, Salah. Just score it. Just score it. Let's get one ahead. Okay, there we go. We're one ahead, guys, which is important. Now we can focus a little bit more on a pender. I say that as we get kickoff glitch, 110%. Oh, we've done, we've done well there. We've done really well. Into Bernardo. Nice, good play. A pender again. Sprint boost. Oh, he does not feel good. Unfortunately, guys... He doesn't feel nearly as good as, as I was expecting. It's insane dribbling. Unlucky there not to score. Okay, we're in control of this game. We are in control. I want to I find that to a pender. No, oh, Davies is there. Oh, man. So far, though, guys, in, in a very, very, very sweaty environment. Not the most impressed. Oh, my God. Now, that was great. That turn there, and to keep his balance up. Was absolutely bloody brilliant. All right then, guys. So, game number two with our man, Openda. This guy looks like he's got a god squad. And looks like a good player. What do you expect, man? What do you expect at this kind of level? It's, it's going to be sweaty. It's going to be really sweaty. And no doubt about it. it. It very much is. This guy's got too many Messi, Ronaldinho Prime. So, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a game. It's a good test once again for Openda here. And, oh, man, it's, it, is, it is tough to um, live record this kind of stuff. I thought he was going to go for the outside foot there. Okay, here we go. Nice one, Medina, there. Oh, you dirty, dirty man. Dirty, dirty boy. It's Kimmich. Straight into a pender here. He's worried about it. Oh, I thought... I maybe should have hit that. I maybe should have hit that. Oh, it's a lovely pass from Salah. <gasps> Why on earth has he hit that with his left foot? Please, Appenda. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, this Appenda, guys. Ain't it? Oh, man. He is a dodgy player, guys. He's dodgy. Oh, my. What a finish. How? This card is weird. Oh, his runs are sublime, though. He hasn't scored that. He's got a penalty out of it. Crazy. I mean, yeah, his runs are stupid. He's one of the best getting behind strikers on the game. I miss this. I haven't. Let's go. Oh, man. That weak foot just costs you every time. Wow. Wow. It's the final ball with him, man. It's a nearly player, it feels like. Oh, that's lovely. Not the touch, though, from DRB. Unfortunately, it was a lovely pass over the top. And that's the thing I actually quite like about Appenda. He's actually quite good in the air. Like, sorry, passing wise. See what I mean? Like, if you take your time with him. He's not bad there, which really does add a different element to the card because you're not expecting him to be very good in terms of passing, but he is good. He is good there. In these kind of positions, I think, is where he's best suited. He's in. He's literally in. Openda, yeah, lovely. Lovely. All right, guys, so he played four very, very sweaty games with this Openda, and he is... Quite misunderstood, even even by myself, who I I claim to be 
really good at the game. I'm an ex-pro player. This card is a lot better playing wide than it is at striker. And the reason for that is he's really good for the cutbacks because he's so strong, so good in the air. And against fullbacks, you don't really feel it too much against the centre-backs because all of the centre-backs are giants, right? So being 5'9", kind of hampers him up front when he's trying to win knockdowns and stuff like that because, yes, he is a unit, but he's also too too short to really win the headers against the Ruben Dij, the Willy Saliba, the Delict. You get the picture, so on and so forth. Um, out wide is where he's best utilised because you can get beyond the fullback, you can win headers against the fullback, you outstrength all of the fullbacks, and you've got at least the same amount of pace as every fullback. So getting out to that byline, looking for that cutback is a really good way to utilise this card. And if you get him in front of goal, his finishing is lethal. Of course, that freestyle weak foot is an issue. It really, really is an issue. And it made me kind of dislike him a little bit. But then I feel like right mid, Ram, uh, right striker, even though I don't think he's the best suited there. I think he'd be a better right striker if it wasn't in a narrow formation. I think the issue I had in the first few games, I was playing very direct with him. I look at him as a direct player and should be used as such. But he's more than that. He's got the ability to pass. He's got the ability to dribble really nicely. He's not just a raw finisher. He's, he's more than that, which is nice. So if you want to play this card, if you want to get this card, really good as a right mid, really good as a ram, not too good on the left-hand side of the park, you know, unless you're doing finesse shots. His finesse shots aren't very good, mind. But, yeah, I'd say off the bench as a striker as well, awesome. You know, this card reminds me of, like, the headliners of Dharma Traore with better finishing. That's the best way I can really describe him. I think it certainly suits old gen better than new gen. Because uh, you can't make him lengthy, unfortunately. So he's, he's an old gen player. And for old gen, he's free, but he's hard to get. He's going to be rare. If you can get him, go and get him. He will be useful for you. If you can't get him, don't worry too much about it. He's a good card. If you've got the player of the month, that will do. You know, he's only had a four star weak foot upgrade instead of all skill moves, I should say. And yeah, it's, it's not really worth it, guys, um, to be honest. But he's fun to play with, and he's a meta card. Unfortunate about the three star weak foot, which really does let him down a little bit. I'm going to rate this card an 8 out of 10. I think he's good. But as I said, the freestyle weekend really lets him down. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell. So it's a pair of you. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.